Sloppy. Hey, 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 your dad, he done whooped these vortex, bro. Oh, man. Hey, look. They don't even look like shoes no more. Them mugs look like. <laughs> That's how I'm living, baby. Yeah, nah. I. That's how I'm living, What baby. happened if an AKA saw that? They'll be like, I'm going to buy your coffee like the one did in the gas station. She bought me a cup of coffee. She said, I just want to pay it forward. I said, no, you don't have to. She said, no, I want to. I said, okay. <laughs> ching, ching, dollar 78, baby. Yeah, hey, and then guess what she said to her? Dog, she was looking at me like she wanted to cry. I was looking at her like, I want to cry. You the one that's fat. But hey, hey you MK what? Ultra Mind Control, you don't know the difference. Mm -hmm. That's what she was saying on mm -hmm. her breath when she got in the truck. What? Bum ass. Bum ass, nigga. I'm looking like, shit, hey, I mean, I ain't mad at you. You know, I got the coffee maker at the crib. It's just... I like this coffee because it, it gets you higher. Facts. <laughs> Speedway coffee. Yeah. Nigga, that's, nigga, that shit is Speedway. Hey, I, you get that dark roast and come about that mug, you be in the car like this. Hey, I, that's that dark roast Fenty. You be in the car like this. <laughs> that's that dark. Every once in a while, you be in the car like this, though. Like, whoa, lefty. Oh, lefty always. Drink 24 went. ounces. I was drinking 24 ounces. A lefty? Of coffee. Oh, uh, trying to wake up lefty? Man, way, man. I can't do that no more. Not, yeah. not that's, I don't want no car. Man, Speedway. But but to make a long story short, or a long story longer, uh, you got something up? No, nah, no. Nah, it's on you, bro. We, we don't want to be mad or disgusted with our people. Kind of. But our people are base. You know what I'm saying? They base. Yeah. They still walk, Jake Young, and he still walk around with full fast ski mask on. And you know that scared old people. You know goddamn well that scared old people. Y'all at the store with full face robbery masks on, and it's 90 degrees outside. And wish a nigga would. And it's like, dog, why you, why you in the store with your whole face covered up? And then got an attitude like, motherfucker better not say nothing. We not gonna say no. We know you a monster. Right. The problem is, man, ain't no respect left in the youth. The old niggas think they supposed to be drug dealers and hustlers. You got Jay Prince, you got Cameron and fucking Mace. You got uh, WAC 100, you got 50 cents. You know, you got uh, 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 a- all forget your boy, who? Big U. Big U, all you old ass, traumatized ass, Stupid ass. <laughs> and this is on that shit. Grown ass monkeys. Okay. You ask these seven seven. What what is it with you niggas and that tough shit? Don't you know if you leave your gun on the counter, your five year old nephew will come in there, pick it up, and point it at you and knock your shit back. Facts. Guns cannot put you in a winning situation when you thugging with it. Okay, why you yeah. niggas feel like you have to display this bullshit ass tough attitude Please with everything you do? Seven and seven. The meek shall inherit the earth. You proud demons. Yeah. You niggas is older than us. Facts. Yeah, you know, big you dog. He sell uh, uh what's the name too now. The raps. Bro, I don't like dude. Yeah, dude's a dog, man. Listen, dog. He's dude got rap. one of the worst spirits that I've ever seen, like, on screen. Man. He worse than Jay Prince. He is a... That man, Big U, has got to be the biggest piece of shit i ever seen on the internet. That that, that I can... Terrence Gangster Williams, he a piece of shit, too. But but he, he can turn... He can at least fake turn off his tough. Right. Big you, oh, no, 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 nigga. Oh, I, I'm it, immortal, nigga. Is it me? I don't know. <laughs> it, 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 it's big, dog. Big rockhead dummy. Yeah. We help the youth. You don't help the youth. You a demon. You hide behind philanthropy. Facts. Who the fuck you think you fooling? Right. And WAC 100? Oh, man. I don't know who worked. You were 50 Cent. You is you niggas is emotional works. little girls. Can fight. <laughs> you say what? So at least fifty can fight. Oh yeah, and whack I whoop your ass, whack. <laughs> Guaranteed. And guess what? His son is gonna send you to the local oh, yeah. emergency room. Yep, yep. Fuck if you out. take the fade, I'll beat your ass. <laughs> and, and, hey, listen, whack one hundred. This this is a challenge to whack one hundred. I I don't. You'll never see this, but this is a challenge. 
I'm broke, okay? I'm broke. So this is what you can do. Celebrity. I will whoop your ass in front of everybody with 16 ounce gloves on and I'll let you wear bare knuckle if you want to. That's a fact. I'll let you go bare knuckle and I'll have on some 16 ounce gloves. I'm going to embarrass your ass. Hey, I, can you just show him a little bit, Doc? <laughs> show him a little bit, Doc. Yo, I can. I can. Kick, 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 And Wack, listen, if you are able to survive, we got some shit on the other side of the room. He not, bro. You going, you bro. going, you going to freighter. Bro, bro. In a I, coma. When I saw you hit stitches, I was like, damn. Then when I saw the white boys had you. See, you everybody saw you then. Yeah. Every, I ain't the only one saw that. It was plenty of motherfuckers laughing at you. You don't even know how to throw a punch. Right. You don't throw a punch like that unless you don't know how to do it. You don't get tired and be like, okay, since I'm tired, I'm going to throw a punch like this. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, you ain't, you ain't it, bro. You ain't it. And I'll whoop your ass in front of everybody. Celebrity, I... I, I 350 G. <laughs> Again, I, I must I must strongly stress this. Dude over here. My I'm, son will beat your ass. Dog, you going to <laughs> He'll fuck around and beat my ass. He'll definitely beat your ass. <laughs> Dog, he's going he's going to freighter, bro. Bro, with, with, and, and the reason we talking to you like this, we we'll respect you. No. You supposed to be teaching these young boys the right Way, Instead. and you teach them how to be niggas sitting up there yeah. at that Jewish punk. Yeah, yeah. Adam. Oh, he's a punk too. Yeah, yeah, he is, bro. Is give him that uh, proverb. Well, that he he yeah. plays yeah. seven and seven. This explains yeah. the ox spirit right away. Right away this scripture. He plays the ass. He's chapter seven, verse seven. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Yep. So what you see is the elder is, is highly upset right now, highly angry, Who? highly mad. I don't like Wack 100. You sit up there with Vlad. Yeah, Vlad, you know. I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't wait to get on here. Man, I'll put hands on you, dog, in front of these kids. And we, I'll be laughing at you. I'll be doing and talking to him. I'm like, don't get tired. Do not get tired. Hey. <laughs> Cause you get tired, nigga. I ain't gonna knock you out. I'm gonna let you keep running. Yeah. I'm gonna be looking. I'm gonna have my guy holding the clock on the side, so I can. I'm gonna be watching the clock. I'm yeah. like, he got about two more minutes to hold on. I'm gonna be backing your ass up, talking shit. Like, where all that tough shit at? All that street shit go out the window when you get in that ring. When you get in that ring, I, it ain't nothing but you and that damn Right. That's why Boosie don't want to take that fight with Charleston White. Cause you know you 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 tough with a gun, yeah. okay? You 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 well that don't make you tough. That make you treacherous, okay? Facts. Yeah. I wish I would be little boosy and motherfucking Charleston White called me to a fight. I might not even win. But I would be talking so much shit before the fight happened. They'd be like, man, Boosie gonna whoop dog ass. <laughs> you gonna have to prove it. I'm telling you. Hey, uh... You gonna have to prove it, bro. I'm like, let's set it up. Let's set it up. Let's call Ross and set it up in the yard. I, I even have more fun with it. Hey, you hear me say I'm gonna fight Big U? Oh yeah, motherfucker know who to talk shit to. Yeah. Right. I ain't saying I can whoop him. Now guess what? You know what I'm saying. Now look, he ain't. He, he, he ain't saying he'll. Whoop I know him. who I can whoop. Look, he ain't saying he can. He can whoop Big U. I might have to kick. Him. I'm saying that he can. But he can whoop she Big U. No, 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 I'm gonna no, tell, no. tell you why. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why. This is my man, a hundred grand, right? But it's niggas allegedly. There's nowhere as thorough as dude that then put him on his ass. The reason why I say the elder will give Big U issues is because if Big U don't believe in cardio, he's not in shape, which means that if the elder dance around, if it's a three round fight, the elder dance around for two rounds, I might just, be just, just, in just, 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 just two rounds, just dancing around. Ah, you can dance around in a street fight for two rounds. Yep. And yeah, then that, that third that round, oh my God. He claim he knows punches. some type of kung fu and shit. That's what I'm saying. They say he knows some type of kung fu or now, something. The only thing that's different, you know, one nigga 
where that fat shit don't matter. Who? Jace. I don't want no smoke with Jace. Oh yeah, yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. So unless you want to them type of nigga. Yeah, yeah. Jason, the way that motherfucker <laughs> kicking that bag up high this like that. Three hundred pounds and can put his foot on top of his own head. Man, with that <laughs> quick two whap. Like, oh whoa, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Dude, he walked like his feet can't even come off the ground. No, that listen, man. <laughs> Jason, did it. Dude, like, man, this nigga, the, man, I'm gonna be gonna kick you in the head with the damn steel toe. <laughs> the dude, the so, dude, and he can follow up with it too. He'll hit you like that. You don't oh, think this is one kick? It'll be two or three of them motherfuckers. Hey, I, the congregation must understand this person that we're talking about, right? He'll fuck around and you be deceased. Yeah, yeah, he might whoop Big U. I don't put my guy on. Big U. Ain't that how you do it, dog? Oh, my God. Hey, 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 hey. Let me tell you something, man. I ain't even gonna bring up Jay Prince. Bro, man, you need man. to sit your motherfucking ass yeah, down. Yeah, same here, same here, same here. I need to calm down. Who, who you done sold out to to where you got an island in Belize, fam? Yeah, he got I was salty. But the Bible tells me I'm not supposed to be envious of your wicked ass. But my flesh, with you got to understand, my wife done put in 28 years in a factory. Three decades. I'm not proud of that. Three decades, bro. I feel like I dropped the ball in life. She was supposed to have a free life off of me. But see, Esau, you got me by the balls. You have financially castrated the black man. Not all of us, but it feels like that's what you did to me. God. Okay? I'm still mad about slavery. So I'm in my right state of mind. I'm like, God damn, can I get my money? Because what I'm not going to do for my wife or not even nobody. Okay. Uh, uh, my kids, they grown. I'm not going to be a slave to his system for my wife to have your trinkets. You're not going to do me like that. Cause I, cause, cause, and it's sad because I have to sacrifice the things that my wife will really, really love to have to stay away from you. Why? Because Amos. in my mind, I'm supposed to have my money five, already. 14, okay? I ain't MK no, Ultra Amos, by these five, white 13, motherfuckers through 15. who put down or try to talk shit to every black person or rationale how I'm supposed to be working for mine and the white man at the top who stole all the money from my people two generations ago, he ain't working. But you gotta tell me if you really gotta get out here and work hard. Okay, then drop the taxes on black people then. Right. God damn. Something. Yeah. Fuck y'all. Right. Okay? God. These motherfuckers been funneling every dollar we make around this motherfucker. This nigga got an island down in Belize and shit. Wicked is a motherfucker. Super. To do that bullshit. And I can't even take my wife down to an island with a yacht. You got all that shit. But the Bible say I'm not supposed to be envious. But my flesh, I ain't gonna even lie. My lip be jumping. I'll be like, man. See, when I was MK Ultra Mind Control player, I like, man, that nigga having it, dog. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the truth turn you into a hater. <laughs> I got a scripture for you. It do, cause you be like, you know that these motherfuckers don't deserve that. Yeah. You know they don't. But at the same time, shit, they do. Cause go ahead, go farther. Into that shit. That way, when they nuke this motherfucker, they yeah. you can have some ass lose. going. I'm gonna be please. <laughs> Let cents. the motherfuckers go. This is what Fifty Cent said. said. I know you saw this. Fifty Cent sat up there. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, yeah, he was never talking about politics. I can't talk like I don't like your motherfucking ass. And here you go. I don't talk about politics or, or religion. Why? Because I want everybody's money. No, that means you a sellout. Okay. If you are a 50-year-old black man in America who's reached success into the millions of dollars, you the main one supposed to be running your mouth about politics and religion. But because you up under them Jews, right, and you be squeezed in them suits, you see how dog, he look like a cartoon. He always, your suits be too little, fam. Okay? I think you be thinking you looking buff, but you really just look like you like kind of, Curtis. yeah, carrying too much water weight. And you just put on a suit that was too tight. Bro, your suits be too tight, man. And I'm just fucking with you. I don't give a fuck what a nigga wear. But I don't like you, though. You sat up there and said he will not address politics or religion. He did say that. Like, and then you read the comments. He's so smart. He just People be underestimating how smart this man is. 
He's a simpleton. He's a simpleton, dog. Dog, I be like, Jake, really, dude? What the fuck, man? Who raised you niggas? Nobody like my And that's that selfish, self centered, if I win, that's all that matters type shit. Fuck you, niggas, man. Give us that Amos 5, 13 to 15. Right, this is this, this, this what your dad dealing with, man. Amos chapter 5, verse 13. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. Seek good and not evil, that ye may live, and so the Lord, the God of hosts, shall be with you, as he has spoken. Hate the evil, and love the good, and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Hate the evil, and love the good. good. So to hate the evil, man, that's really, bro, across the board, man. I don't want to say too much. But there's a situation going on in Las Vegas between somebody that's famous and somebody that we know. And you tie right into that. And I'm looking at this situation and I'm like... 200, 250K? Right. <laughs> and I'm just... I, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm looking at my life and I'm looking at these wicked men's lives. And not just the ones... That, I'm noticing a pattern. All of the people who I know that I've had a close association with, they have lots of money. God. They goddamn demons. Yeah. I'm yeah. talking about real live demons. And I'm really trying not to do it, but the spirit keep compelling me. They like like it's like turning me into a hater because I'm looking at him and I'm like, ugh, you don't deserve that. But but it's like a pattern here. If a piece of shit get that bad, they get all type of opportunities. Yeah. It's a trade off. Yeah. And I'm starting to like, okay, am I tripping? Nah, you ain't tripping. Who we talked about the other day that went viral with the with the with the with the shit with the steak. We talked about yeah. this motherfucker, man. Unreal, bro. Unreal. Yeah. It's like <laughs> And you know he a piece of shit. Right. I'm like, God damn, so pieces of shit just catching it right now, huh? Yeah. Just, Man, get to lay on the yacht at St. Bart's. When I saw Gucci and Keisha on that yacht in St. Bart's, I was mad. I'm like, this That's nigga... supposed to be you and the Wiz. Right, I'm like, dog, this nigga give out evil-ass rap contracts for this. He do. And black people uphold the shit like it's cold. Yeah. And then you get to go down here and spend 300000 and lay out with your wife on the yacht. On the yachty. Yeah. I'm like, damn... But what do a, what do a man who's trying to be righteous get? Nothing. Grits. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, out of all things, what's the value? What's the value of grits, bro? Man, man yes, shit. Yeah, it's man. Nothing. But guess what? I I take grits over pork any day. Right, right. I be looking at Rick Ross, man, as much as I like Rick Ross. I love the more dog. he talk, I love dog. the more I start being I'm like... respect the persons of Rick Ross. I dog. am too. <laughs> That's why I ain't went all the way on him. But I'm going to say this. <laughs> I listen to him in his rhymes, right? And I'm like, man, this man has a gift. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he like, does. Yes, like, he man, does. when God made swag, yeah. nigga, you got it. And then you start too much Instagram. Yeah. Too many interviews, and guess what I noticed about you? You hate yourself. Yeah, because you do way too much. Neon you hate yourself, bro. Yeah. You, and I noticed you, you take jabs at certain niggas. I peep that. Like if it's a nigga you feel like look way better than you, and you on this platform, you fall you, back. you be you be having a chip on your shoulder. I peep that about you. I've been cutting hair for thirty six years. Don't lie. Don't lie. Kinda. See. You, you might be able to sneak that shit past these other niggas, but what did my brother tell you when we started her? He is an expert in what? Niggerology. Niggerology. That's 36 years of standing behind a bunch of killers and drug dealers. Yep, and then boosy niggas. And boosy niggas. <laughs> and carving on their motherfucking scalp. See? What on their scalp? I carving on them. See? So I'm already in the head, you see? Right. So I like Ross, but he he insecure as fuck. But it's it's an anger to it. God. But he tried to mask it with his shirt off and this. But you talk about money too much. 
right? Because you got to remember, I, we, what me and the elder talked about as we ready to close is when people are insecure, they put money in front of it to where the insecurity kind of like goes away. Yep. Then you don't see Denzel doing that. You don't see Ice Cube doing that. But guess who else you see doing that? Slim Thug. Hey, dog. Let me oh, say yeah, something. Dog. Yeah. What? Hey, dog. Like, what the women be saying? Hey, man, who hurt you, man? Hey, put like this. Hey, that what the nigga want me to say to Jay? Hey, hey, I'm saying it to you, bro. I'm going to say hey, this. Man, uh, Slim, who hurt you, man? Because <laughs> you, you do. <laughs> guess what? What? When your son go down to the H again, if you run into that nigga, please fire him for yeah, me. Yeah, man. <laughs> Slim Thug, he's fire that nigga for he me. He do. I'm going to tell you. He, he had already been slipping, yeah. and I started watching him like this. He jumped nigga, all the way out. There. This nigga, this nigga, this nigga, Boosie right here. I started peeping him. I'm like, okay, this nigga, he ain't solid like his image is. He, he like a, he like a, he like a, he like a crank ass nigga. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, maybe it's just me. He but got he kept, insecurities too. Right. He kept doing little shit. And it came out. And this when it came out. He was on the expressway, and it was a nigga in a Nissan Maxima. And the nigga was doing 100 miles an hour. And Slim Thug went live and started talking really mean shit about men who can't afford expensive cars. I was like, I knew it. You're a crankbait ass nigga. Yeah. Because that, that, that wouldn't even... Dog, you, when you start comparing yourself to a regular person... Man, these niggas out here with these cars, man. They ain't got but no decent gotta, car. But, they ain't a cheap ass car. I'm like, whoa. But you remember. Whoa. I, ain't none of your homies struggling. Now, what about this? I, in the video with the broad he had on the boat, he said that, yeah, this for all y'all when I ain't have shit. This for y'all. So he's still butt hurt from. Yeah, me. who hurt you, bro? Yeah, he's still like, butt hurt. Because you've been a millionaire since you've been like a teenager or some shit. You've been having money for a long time. But. Yo, spirit off, bro. You got like this, this. Is this a extremely carnal and vain? Spirit? Yeah, dog. You like a carnal ass nigga, man. Facts. Facts. Too much material shit in way too much. You think material shit is nothing. what make a nigga, man? That ain't what make you. Nah. The Bible tell you that the little that the righteous man have far outweigh many wealth of the wicked, and it also says. That don't be envious. Why? Because he knew men who took the path that we took. Yeah. That envy was gonna start jumping in there when you start realizing that it's like, wait a minute, I'm trying on this, and now I'm looking at that, and I'm like, I can't do that because the Lord don't want me to go into these shiesty businesses to where I can get that. Right. So now, as you stand it to the side, you're like, okay, my options in the truth is. It's, it's, it's so bad when you get this deep into the truth because you say, well, I'll I get a food truck, right? And then get yeah. what you going to find out. Black people like butter on their shit. Yeah. So now you got to help kill their ass so yeah. you can make some money. And spiritually, they ain't going to Hey, you got some more? You got bacon? They ain't going to Like, damn, I don't, don't want to sell bacon. Your ass fuck around. They stop buying shit off your truck because you ain't got no bacon. Yeah. Now, you putting, you what you cook these in? Flour, I don't like vegetable oil. You ain't got no yellow lard. I'm gonna go to JJ's. They chicken taste funny. Jake, 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 not going. So now you, Junior, Junior Bridgman, uh, 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 Robert, Robert Pyle. Here go black people. Man, Junior Bridgman. Oh my God, he's so blessed. The Lord is hands on him. <laughs> so he's so blessed. Robert Pyle, he <laughs> on nine ten McDonald's. He's so blessed. Ass McDonald's. So when you, so on Judgment Day. Not nigga I mean, let's right. just, let's just, let's, we, we know, the, if we think that we know somewhat of how the Lord is pulling us, right? Okay. On Judgment Day, you Robert Pye. Okay. You say, Robert, how you doing? How your house shot? It's time to judge. So you're on nine McDonald's. You probably go put your head in your lap like, damn, I'm caught. You peep me Bro, right. let's say that God say that's okay. That's strange because... <laughs> that's poison. All the food in McDonald's. Woo! That's the worst poison in the game. Yeah. yeah. And it's infested in the black community. Right? Yeah. And they, and the white, the white boy made supersize me. And he's like, listen, this food should never be eaten not even once. Back up. For a treat. Yeah. It, not even once. Fast food. He dead now. He, mm -hmm. he died. 
like a few months back or something. God. But 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 when I go to these, I ride past McDonald's. Who you see? The nigga woman and her kid. How we look? Bitch. So on Judgment Day, I only got a couple minutes, but, you you became a millionaire. I'm Twenty-four. You you took your family 25. all around the world. Yeah, what is the judgment for selling people, for specifically your people, poison? Or or is he just gonna say, oh, I ain't tripping? It's gotta be harsh. So I gotta be. Up. Well, I'm some, but okay. Am I tripping for saying that the Lord is not it, fucking with that? No. Well, I'm saying <laughs> what, what? Okay, are we saying? Say for instance, I'm wrong in my judgment of what I think the Lord is thinking, and He's saying McDonald's man, that's delicious, man. That's I ain't tripping on that. Well, we know that came. No family case. had to eat. Your family had to eat. You know, you had to be a successful businessman. I get it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I ain't giving a fuck that you served all them kids poison. We be good. Well, we know that. Or ain't the good. Lord say that I wasn't poison like that. They were straight. Well, we know. <laughs> you know that what I'm saying? saying? I don't know. The Lord is not the author of confusion, and we He gave us dietary laws for a reason. Yeah. When for piggyback with your son saying in so many words, you can't be on the right hand side. Having no restaurants like that. Junior Bridge was selling Baconators. Same thing. Same thing. He's selling Baconators. Right. Rick Ross selling pork hot dogs at Checkers. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm just saying, I could be wrong. I'm just saying the way that I'm starting to believe in the Lord, he got the door closed on a lot of hustle. If you think you're going to be yeah. in the truth. No, okay. Yeah. I'm not, it it's, might cut it's off. Be don't you know, we, we, I was thinking about this. I've been thinking about this shit for like three weeks. So that fact that it came up. Okay, say your hustle is 100% legit. No matter what it is, whatever it is, you're not doing nothing with it. If you ain't paying your employees every day, you're going off. It's fucked Fact. up. The white man ain't gonna let you do that shit. Nope. Fact. Garnell Mama tried to do that shit. They made up the amount of money and made them pay it, made her pay it today, our IRS. They said, we don't know how much you paid or how much was untaxed, but we assuming, based off other shit, you owe us 100 bands. That's crazy. Made wow. it up. Shit. And she couldn't do shit about it. I would have been like, I'm going to get my... Doing attention. it the right way. Paying the employees every day what they were supposed to get paid. That's instead the right of, way. That's the right way to do it. Can you be like a lawyer or nothing to no. counter it? Because no. technically look at my, she was breaking the law. She ain't paid the tax on that shit. Look at, look at my hustle. It's janky. Now, the world is janky. Fuck this shit. Um, Joy, you knew, um, you, you knew that haircuts and shaving and shit was wicked, right? Yeah. Well, guess what? You was, you was, you was shaving niggas and you was... Line them up. Yeah. So it's like, bro, I'm I'm like super fucked up, pushed into a corner. Even with trucking, it's like, okay, you delivering uh, Hormel chili and shit. Mm -hmm. You delivering fucking Boston baby. We there's got to be a cutoff somewhere. So is he accepting McDonald's owners, big business? You know, Jake owning all the low-end real estate, you know, and him and his wife, you know, getting veneers and, you know what I'm saying, and building houses and smiling in all their pictures. You know, I mean, what, what to Doe Bell in this wicked kingdom, what is, like, okay, take somebody like Dr. Leo. No, man, he a dentist. That's legit. That's legit. I mean, when somebody's teeth is fucked up, I mean... Shit, that's that's. But I mean, how many times? Who, how who go? Who who? We can't be dentists, right? The time still rolling. Or did he come? I ain't here. <laughs> okay, I all it praises up. to Yahweh, who is only begotten Son. Yeah. Yahweh Shai, Shalom to all the Akwatanaki about there. Keep pushing. And um, I mean, the Bible stands too true. It's a two third and it's a one third. We are hopeful. Hopeful. We are hopeful members of getting in the long line and trying to work our way into the one-third out of the two-thirds. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.